Good afternoon, good morning, guten tag. Welcome to the continuing saga of the crossbow. And so, somebody asked me to, um, before I demonstrate my device here, some close-ups. You notice that I took that, that horrible, that ring, uh, the chrome ring, and I took and I wrapped it with leather, and that was as simple as taking a very thin strip of leather and just soaking it in a hide glue mixture so it was it was imbued with hide glue and then wrapped it on there and then put full strength hide glue down there and just let it it dry it's not of uh <clears throat> of a nature that if it wears through it'll damage anything because the chrome ring is in there it's all aesthetics but i am big on aesthetics i probably should have mentioned that this is actually this is actually um cow horn and i i just took a form, a block, and sawed with a bandsaw, hey key, the shape of it, baked it in the oven for t at 250 degrees for about 15 minutes, and by that time it was pliable enough to stick in that form with that bend, just a block of wood with the curve in it, clamp it down, and I baked it for another hour at 250 degrees, I don't know, but it's maintaining it, I didn't like kill the elasticity, it was funny. I'm thinking I needed to make this longer, uh, make a longer one. It's like it's a two ply reverse twisted string, so I just added length to it. So everything is good. Everything is good. Beautiful thing. Now what I have here, this is a very slack string. I am still waiting for the sinew to cure, so I'm not going to stress it too much. But I'm going to show you how this device works. And uh, I don't, I couldn't find a hacksaw. And so what I did is I just took this, this was a spade bit for that pin right there and, and chucked it in a, in a drill, hand drill, and took a, <clears throat> a triangular file and just filed it enough through there using the drill as a, as a lathe um, to the point where I could snap it. And so that's, that's how you do things. If you don't have the right tool, you find a tool that works. And so here's how this works. And again, it's kind of a slack string. And... Well, oh, pardon me. Ah! I'm gonna get that out of the way here. I don't even think it's a good idea to clip it all the way, but you know, what are we to like? And this is nice over saying, having a stirrup and using your feet because you're guaranteed that when you pull this thing, it's gonna align the string um, correctly on there. So it's not gonna be off to the side or anything to give you better flights. And then, so there it goes. Now, you're looking at this, if you're into engineering and vectors and stuff, yes, this is a very high angle. And so what I'm going to do is, I guessed at my pivot point. I just guessed. I'm going to move the pivot point down here so it's going to begin more vertically. And that'll give me a lower approach angle, and I should still have that. Well, you know what? We're not into safety, so let's just... There we go. Put that away. Wear it like your man purse if you want. Oh, I am so tempted to like just pull the trigger, but I'm not going to. Put there your bolt, and it's not bent all the way, of course, because I don't want to stress it too much. And you're ready to shoot. No, no. I actually could have put my bolt in there. Oh well. Ugh. How do I undo this? I guess I'm just gonna like do it in the house when I can take my shoes off and put my feet there. But anyway, some close-ups. Top view. Front view. This is pretty slick, that horn. And the horn on the butt. Trigger mechanism. Whoa! I almost did it. Although, you know, who are we to be scared? <laughs> Dry firing it at that is not going to hurt it. Now, if it does hurt it, it deserves to die. We are not in the safety. We are weaponeers. I like that. I just coined that phrase. Or phrase. We are weaponeers. Anyway, have a great day. I'm going to go down and change the angle on this. Um, and yes, I'm sure people were cringing when I dry fired it, but trust me, it's not going to hurt it. Not when the string is that loose and it was barely, um, barely, barely, I don't even know the terms. I'm getting confused between crossbow terms and bow terms. Bended. Bended. It wasn't that bended. 
there we go have a good day and thank you for watching um, that's it I mean I just need to make the string to string it and the crossbow string and some bolts and I'm done